Hi guys, uh, in the last video I have given uh, kind of prerequisite to derive output of an LTA system. We still have like one or two prerequisites which we need to know before we derive the output of an LTA system. Okay. Uh, in the previous uh, video I said that any discrete time signal x of n can be represented in terms of a combination of time shifted and amplitude scaled version of unit impulse function that is delta function but uh, let me just uh, we will have one more example so that uh, we will make sure that we got convinced about that concept ok so say x of n is equal to minus 3 times delta of n plus 3 minus 2 times delta of n plus 2 minus 1 times delta of n plus 1 plus one time delta of n minus 1 plus 2 times delta of n minus 2 plus 3 times delta of n minus 3 right I hope the font is visible uh, and I mean uh, this is a discrete time signal right as per the previous video previous video uh, how do we plot this discrete time signal so so from where to where the signal starts and ends it start from n equal to minus 3 how did I say that because of this right and it's ends at n equal to plus 3 again how did I say that because of this so 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 2 3 delta of n shifted left 3 time and its amplitude scaled by minus 3 right so it is it is minus 3 so this part is delta of n shifted left 2 times amplitude is scaled by minus 2 this part is delta of n shifted left 1 time amplitude scaled by minus 1 so there is no delta of n term so even I can write it as 0 times delta of n this is same as write, writing nothing so there is no sample at n equal to 0 and what does it mean delta of n shifted right one time and its amplitude scaled by 1 and this part is delta of n shifted right two times amplitude scaled by 2 delta of n shifted right three times amplitude scaled by 3 ok so this complete thing is my x of n so you add up all this individual shifted and scaled version of at impulse function you get your discrete time signal back ok now the next prerequisite is uh, let me just take up this itself or I will write it in the same signal example so I can equivalently represent this this discrete time sequence x of n as so this is x of minus 3 this we call it as x of minus 3 ok comma so this is this sample is x of minus 2 x of minus 2 and this sample is x of minus 1 comma x of minus 1 so this sample is x of 0 and this sample is this is x of 1 x of 1 and this sample is x of 2 and this sample is this is x of 2 and this is x of 3 how did I write what are these actually minus inside the bracket I have kept minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 these these numbers are nothing but the value at that particular value of n x of minus 3 x of minus 2, x of minus 1, x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3. These are all the index of the samples. Okay. Now as a whole, what is x of minus 3? x of minus 3 amplitude is minus 3, right? And what is the amplitude of x of minus 2? x of minus 2 amplitude is minus 2. 
What is the amplitude of x of minus 1? x of minus 1 amplitude is minus 1. What is the amplitude of x of 0? There is no amplitude at x of 0, so it is 0. Similarly, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. x of 1 is 1, x of 2 is 2, x of 2 is 3. So I can write it as x of n is equal to minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And we put an arrow mark to say that at n equal to 0, what is the amplitude? Okay. Whenever I put an arrow mark, this is the sample at n equal to 0. And in this case, at n equal to 0, there is no sample. It is 0, so I have kept arrow mark at 0. And if this is 0, what is this? This is at n equal to 1. This is at n equal to 2. This is at n equal to 3. This is at n equal to minus 1. This is at n equal to minus 2. This is at n equal to minus 3. Fine. Uh, let me take, let me just convince you with one more sequence. Uh, say I have a sequence like this 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, 3. Say this is, this is 5, this is 4, this is minus 2, this is 1, this is minus 1, this is 2, and this is 5. Okay, and how do I write this sample in, this, in terms of sequence? So this is my x of n. This is nothing but x of minus three, x comma x of minus two, comma x of minus one, comma x of zero, comma x of one, comma x of two, comma x of three, right? And what is the value of x of minus three? It is five. Comma x of minus two? It is four. Comma x of minus one? It is minus two. Comma x of zero? It is one. X of one? It is minus one. X of two? It is two. X of three? It is and where should I put the arrow mark? Arrow mark is nothing but the sample at n equal to 0. Sample at n equal to 0 is 1. 1 is here. So this is the arrow mark. So both sequence are same. I can represent like this or I even I can represent like this. Okay. Even I can represent in terms of delta function we, which we had discussed in the previous video. How do we write this in terms of delta function? It is nothing but delta of 5 times. So 5 times delta of n plus 3, shifted left 3 times, right? Plus 4 times delta of n plus 2, this sample. Plus, sorry, minus 2 times. Why? Because this is minus 2. Delta of shifted left 1 time n plus 1. And this is plus delta of n. This is that the sample at n equal to 0 and its amplitude is 1. Minus, because it is minus 1, delta of n shifted right 1 time plus 2 delta of n shifted right 2 time plus 3 uh, plus 5 amplitude is 5 and it is shifted right 3 times delta of n plus 3 so I can represent the discrete time sequence graphically like this or in terms of sequence like this or in terms of delta function like this okay so this is the second prerequisite we we want to know we should know to derive output of a LTA system